Chair. That I employ diplomacy in the way around this kingdom does not give anybody the liberty to walk into my palace and impose anything on me. Your Majesty, I, I am not imposing anything on you. Who am I to try that? I was only trying Spare me the explanations. We are talking about my immediate family here. I am the king of Umok Baleri Kingdom. And I do what I consider best whenever it concerns my immediate family. I can see that my king is getting angry, but it hasn't gotten to that. Your Majesty, we are talking about the prince here. And why are you talking about my son, the prince? Did he not make it known from the beginning that he's not interested in the way we run this kingdom? So why will you come into my palace saying that you're talking about my son, the prince? Uh, uh, Undo. You are, you are a guard, no doubt. But you can address the king of this matter. How dare you? How dare you? Ndo is a guard attached to my son. He can talk to my son. He cannot talk to me. I, I, I'm sorry, your majesty. I'm sorry. Now make the case you have against my son and defend your case yourself. Your majesty. I've been seeing the prince with the maidens of this kingdom. And what is wrong if my son is cited with maidens of this kingdom? Is he not a full grown man? Why? Why do you just want to provoke me for nothing? I am sorry, Your Majesty, but you must listen to me. The prince meddling with maidens of this kingdom only means. He wants to have a woman as a wife. Your Majesty, I believe it is time we expose his real wife to him. Should I tell you the truth, Iche? I'm all ears, Your Majesty. My son, the prince, does not have a woman we can expose as wife to him. Do you know why Umwezu went up in flames. They broke their prince and forced him to marry a strange woman. She entered the palace and desecrated their ancient ancestral stool. Ichi, I cannot afford to make the same mistakes that others made. But, Your Majesty, I, I thought we had an understanding on this. Why do you still believe it's a mistake? The god of fertility departed from Bende dynasty for 12 years. No one got pregnant. Infant mortality grew to an unprecedented 100%. Bende almost got to the point of extinction. Do you know why? They forced their princess to marry a man she never loved. The man took her home and entered her as a woman. That was seen as rape in the eyes of the gods. A strange man had entered their princess. And that was the zenith of desecration in Bende. Iche, go home and try to understand why we cannot impose a maiden on my son, the prince. You said it yourself. He's already meddling with maidens of this kingdom. Soon, he'll show us the one that he loves. Then we shall support him and follow him to marry the maiden that his heart desires. What? What's the meaning of that? 
Hey, what's the meaning of that? What, 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 what's, what's the meaning of that? Why would you stop me from doing what they were doing? My prince. Yes? Is she and Azia just left the throne room? And what's my business with she and Azia leaving the throne room? Is that why you stop me from entertaining me? My prince, I am your personal assistant. You should listen to me. Why would I listen to my personal assistant? Why is not making sense? My prince. The king told the Shia Nazir that the prince has the right to select who his wife is. This means you now have the royal pronouncement you need to select who your wife is. My prince, you know me very well that I don't, I don't joke with serious issues. The king said that he is not going to impose anything on the prince because he wouldn't want the kingdom to be destroyed like other kingdoms that got destroyed when they imposed their wife or a husband on the prince and the princess. <laughs> what he said is that you are now free to select your own wife. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Why are you doing this? You're the prince of this land and I cannot look you in the face. Ngozika, you have to look at me. Look me in the face. Look me in the eye. You will see something different. I... I just did. I saw the prince. Rosica, that's what everyone sees. But please, I want you to look me in the eye and tell me what you see. See differently. Why do you want me to, to be different? I am a maiden of Umo Balewi. I must surely see what others see. No, because see, that is what they all see. But please, I want you to look differently. Look, you will see something different. The maidens of Umo Baleri Kingdom believe you are gentle and harmless. A good number of them would pose nude for your entertainment if you tell yeah. them to do so. I look at you and I see a harmless prince. A prince who wouldn't take advantage of anyone. Because that's what I am. That is what I am. So you see, I... My personal assistant. Please run, run, run. He has a loud mouth. Run, run. I'll see you later, okay? All right. Um, uh, um, what happens... Yes. I heard you talking with someone. Am Who I is the person? Am I not allowed to speak alone now? Can't I talk to myself? In simple language, my prince, that is lunacy. Are you saying I'm mad? Are you saying I'm going to say? I'm sorry, my prince, but I, I'm speaking based on what you said. That you were talking to yourself. Nah. I, in this kingdom, that is madness. I, I, I don't know about other kingdoms. Lubisi, can you just shut up and give me what I told you to get for me? by the best ghost in our kingdom. It, it, it was not easy convincing many people to give it to me. Nice. Yes, I know. Uh, but my prince, what are you doing with, with, with gold? Well, um, I am uh, giving it to the maid. You are not serious, are you? Of course I'm serious. My prince! Yes? Maidens of this land do not know the value of gold. Why would you think of offering the gift of gold to a maiden of this kingdom? Do we see? People who know the value of gold were not born with the knowledge of it. They start to know its value when they start handling it. Now, this maiden, after I must have given her the gift, will know the value of gold. Thank you. Uh, my please, please, wait, wait, wait. God. Oh, my. Who is this maiden you are planning to destroy by teaching her the value of gold? You know the problem I have with you. You feel you know everything. But you know nothing.
open the door. Something came up and I want us to discuss. It's urgent. My prince. What kind of nonsense is this? Where is it? The prince is not in his room. Where is he? The prince's security is a responsibility of time. And he has to protect the palace for five hours. I am trying to understand the meaning of that rubbish you just said now. I am equally trying to understand the reason why you are asking me this silly question by this time of the night. Ikeni! The prince is not in this palace. I'm asking you as the guard on duty, if you have seen him, why are you not willing to ask the question? The prince is not in this palace. Are you okay now? Are you okay now? Did he tell you where he has gone to? Oh no, no. The prince is going to come back in this palace. And I'll be here to welcome him back. I don't even know what to do to him. Whether to slap you or whether to pour sand into your face. Which you want to do? To pour sand at my face. Why? Because you are a goat. And your father was a cow. Iked, I am going to deal with you in this place. You don't say whatever they call you. I am not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you. You are not going to do anything. I give it to you because you're the best, and I'm happy you love it. It's one of the best I have ever seen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would never forget this night. And I'll never forget the day I gave you a gift. A gift you accepted with all your heart. Some people will not be happy if they discover that the prince walks the night because of me. A common maiden. forget about people. Only remember us. And forget about any useless sentiments or relevance attached to royalty. I am a freeborn, a free indigenous of this kingdom and I'm free to move anytime I want. And tonight I've come to you because we have a future together. You confuse me when you say that. We live in a kingdom where elders decide the fate of every maiden. Whatever we feel for ourselves, I don't see the elders bringing us together. I don't. Tomorrow we'll dwell on this particular topic you have raised. But for now, 
my dear. You have to go. Please leave. You leave. You are my guest. And you're the woman. It's the man's duty to watch his woman as she leaves. Please, please leave before you put me into trouble. Or before someone sees us. Wow. Next time they will say that they are the, the keepers of the palace. Yet they never stay in the palace. Ndara, Rapwari. What I know very well is that if Chupu Adioma did not guide the kingdom, in vain is people like me staying away. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you indirectly making jest of me or what? I thought you have something important to say. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Have you seen the prince? Uh, yes. I saw a preacher in the evening. The preacher was saying something about the prince of peace. The prince of peace. I became interested. But the preacher did not tell me more about this prince of peace or where to find him. Are you talking about the same, pri the same prince of peace? Nah, nah, Kobe, of peace listen, listen to me. I don't know who is prince of peace. I am talking of Prince Ubaka of Awomo Valley of the Kingdom. Have you seen him? Nonsense! Prince is now a night crawler. Only we were in the night. I'm very happy. But if you see him, ask him whether he has seen me. I know that one day I will crawl into him. All is crawling. Yes, they say you, you, he's too bad. But we can't see any money. We can't see any money! That wet is spring is the meaning of a back, but we can't see wet. We can't even see wet, not to talk about the earth. No, 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 see, are you going to see the money or the wet in the grave or in the grief? Stupid money. Go and sleep. The priest is the well. Hey, get me. Only get me. No, no. I never knew you were like this. Please leave so I could go in. Morning will meet us here if you refuse to leave because I am going nowhere. Oh, please! My house is around the corner. Please leave before someone sees us. So if your house is around the corner, why don't you just go in while I watch your back? You win, stubborn prince. Good night. My prince. So what are you doing here? I should be the one asking you what you are doing here. What are you doing and I kill you by this ungodly hour of the night? My prince. I'm taking a walk. Okay? Am I not allowed to take a walk again? My prince, you left the palace by this hour of the night taking a walk without your personal assistant? My, my prince, this is wrong. Do we see? I came to Aki without my personal assistant because I don't want him to know where I'm going. And I'm actually disappointed. My personal assistant, who should know better, will follow me to Aki this night. Look at Maya. Good night. Stop following me. Good! Good! <laughs> I know many men is there. Look, I don't care about who you know, okay? All I'm telling you is that I have a maiden in Aki who will be the queen. That's it. 
My prince, it does not work that way. And how does it work? My prince, I am your personal assistant. And I am telling you that it, it does not work that there are some certain things you cannot just do without, without me. Listen here, okay? Listen, what is my personal assistant's business in whom I decide to marry or whom I do not marry? It's my personal life and requires no personal assistant. I agree it is your personal life and that is why it has become my personal business. I am your personal assistant. You cannot just decide to marry a woman without my contribution. Listen to me, my prince. Now that you have the space to select your own wife, you don't have to cage yourself with this maiden from Aki that we don't know. No! You have to open your eyes, my prince. You are going to make a choice from an assemblage of maidens. Omo Aleri is a land of maidens, my prince. Don't decide on only one person. <laughs> That's why this was out there. That's why they have to leave. <laughs> Blade of maidens, my prince. <laughs> Uzane, there is something about the prince and his, his charisma. Azuka, please spare me the details. We are maidens employed to serve the prince and not to discuss about him. I am not discussing about him. I'm only about telling you what I'm experiencing as a woman. What is it? Now listen. The spirit of dance lives in the prince. You may not have noticed, but the way he looks at you when you dance for him, you would discover that you hardly get tired. See, the spirit of dance that lives with the prince is communicating with your own dance. And it makes the union become inseparable. That is why you can dance and dance and dance for hours without getting tired at all. That we have to get tired does not have anything to do with the prince. It's just because we are trained dancers. Look, Prince Obaka is not the only one I've danced for. I've danced for many people before I was permanently assigned to dance for him. But, but there is something unique about dancing for the prince. And that uniqueness comes from the fact that the spirit of dance lives within him. As the keeper of this palace, I demand to know what both of you are discussing here. Our sole business here is to dance for the prince. So we are discussing on what to add to our dancing steps so that the prince can appreciate us. Dancing for the prince is not the same thing as seducing the prince. So whatever you are trying to add to your dancing step must not have any element of seduction. Even the marginal seduction I have already noticed in your dancing steps must be expunged immediately because we don't need that in the palace. Both of you have specific roles to play in this palace. And I want you to restrict your duties to those specific roles. Asuka, I blame you for this. You blame me for what? The prince is not comfortable with the elements of seduction in our dance. That's why he sent Ndubisi to come and tell us. As for me, tomorrow, I'm going to my normal dance. The king looked me straight in the eyes and told me that his son, Prince Obaka, will choose a maiden for himself. I called you because you are the one who groomed the chosen maiden for us. Do you think what the king said is right or wrong? Ichi, mm -hmm. I don't know if the king is right or wrong. What I know is that the self selected maiden has already lost total confidence in the entire process. What, what, what do you mean by losing total confidence in the entire process? Four months ago, uh. she told me that she wasn't sure if the prince would eventually marry her. And I asked her to explain her reasons. She said that subsequent developments will prove her either right or wrong. Judging from what you just told me now, I can say that my maiden was right. Oh, man. Man, you, you sound as if you have lost, you have lost confidence or you have lost, totally given up. Don't give up yet. We have to convince our prince to marry our chosen maiden. I'm sorry, Chair. But I will not allow the prince to marry my maiden if he does not recognize her or appreciate her as a woman. He must freely come to terms that she is the best. 
But as long as he's still looking elsewhere, he will never marry my mother. Ndubisi, I don't know you too well. I only know you as a trusted nobleman that is attached to Prince Ubaka. So it is not possible for me to make you a promise when I don't even know what I'm promising. Uzuma, I want you to understand something. I have perfected plans to make you the queen of Uma the kingdom. So I came here this early for you to tell me what I stand to gain if I make you the queen. You want to make me the queen of this land? Is that possible? It is very possible. You already said it that I am the trusted gentleman that is attached to the prince. That is correct. Absolutely correct. And I, I want you to understand that that attachment has a whole lot of sides. Because I am the one that practically decides everything around the prince. Every maiden in this kingdom, all of them, they want to be queen. Unfortunately, all of them cannot be queen because you are the one I am going to make the queen. So I want you to tell me, if I use all the powers at my disposal to make you the queen, what do I stand to gain? If you make me the queen of this land, um, I am going to make out time to come and dance for you each day. Why will you say dance? Why will you say dance? What do you see? Why are you sounding like you're not a man of this land? I'm a man of this land, and you know it yourself. I'm a full man of this immobile the kingdom. But I was expecting you to make me promise of something tangible. And you're saying dance. What will I be doing with dance? How in the BC? You know, dancing is a very big business in this land. Apart from masquerade, which remains an exclusive business for the men, dancing is next in line. So if a woman should dance for you, man, that is the biggest honor she can give to the man. If you make me the queen of this land, I'll make out time to come dance for you every day. Uh, listen to me, Uzoma. I want you to understand something. I live in the palace. And we have maidens in the palace that are commissioned to dance for the prince. Every morning. Wonderful dancers. And I have watched them countless number of times. I am just wondering, what is it that you have that you think can dwarf what I've seen about those maidens? When it comes to dancing, what, what can you offer? What is it? Well... I'll leave you to be the judge. Is that something you're not telling me? His Royal Majesty, Ezomenoko of Omapaleri Kingdom, told Uchi Anesi something that gives me the impression that your fear is justified. Which of my fears? You told me that you saw a situation where the prince chose another maiden in place of you. Have they? Have they finally declared who the lucky maiden is? No, they did not. They only said that the prince has the right to choose a wife from the maidens. Is that what you saw? That made you lose confidence in a process that could have made you the wife of the prince and the queen of this land? I saw the one they call the prince comparing me to other maidens in this kingdom and even to some other maidens from other lands. I decided there and then that he is not my man. My man shouldn't have to compare me. I ought to be his best, his permanent best. 
Are you telling me that you're not going to be bothered if the prince fails to marry you? I won't be bothered. There are so many maidens he can choose from. Our land is a land filled with maidens. There's hardly a family without a maiden in it. So, what gladdens my heart is that I can hold my own amongst my fellow maidens. The prince can go ahead and marry whoever he wants to marry. Ozioma, daughter of Okesi, will not die a single lady. I will get married someday. And when I do, I'll be married to the best. That's the spirit. I am happy that you are victim the maturity of a queen. Do you know what she did? She sneaked up to the prince to show her face. That is abysmal and unacceptable. As far as I'm concerned, she is one tree out of the forest. So I want you to continue walking towards the crown. How do you mean she's one tree out of the forest? How do you mean? Were you listening to me at all? Were you? She looked the prince in the eyes and told him that he would never have her. She said that? She said that to the prince? How come I didn't hear that part? Why are you this excited? No, no, no. Don't tell me you have been scared of this girl all this while. You are scared? How could you be scared of her? Of course not. How can I possibly be scared of her? After all, I know that I am the best dancer. So I can't be scared of her. I'm just worried that the prince might change his mind and decide to go for the maiden groom for him. Uzoma, should I be very sincere with you? I am disappointed in you. Are you joking or what? No. You mean to say you have been scared of this girl all this while we've been working together and you didn't tell me? No, see, please don't misunderstand me. Please don't. I know I can still be the best dancer that day. You know this tradition and how it works. I know I can still be the best that day. But I'm just scared that the tradition might come to take its curse. Listen to me. Anybody who is working with me must live above fear. You don't have to be afraid of anything, anybody, any maiden, any tradition or whatsoever. We have a target and that is the crown. So I want you to concentrate and keep working towards the crown. I want you to continue thinking about that. My prince, I know Gozeka. In fact, I can say that I know her very well. And based on what I know about Ngozeka of Akin, I want you to forget her completely. Then why should I forget her? Give me a reason why I should forget her. My prince, very simple. Yes. Based on color configuration of both of you, she cannot be your wife. What rubbish are you talking about? My prince, I have already seen your queen. She is the one I want you to meet. Because she is the one I want you to marry. And when you marry the girl I am talking about, all the maidens of this kingdom shall surrender under her supremacy. Because they will acknowledge the fact that you marry the best. Who is this your maiden? Where is she from? God will kill me. If I should ever travel out of this kingdom to go and bring your wife, my prince, and my poala, I can't do a thing like that, my prince. I am talking of a maiden who is a full-blown maiden of Umobale, the kingdom. She is the one that I want you to make your wife. Her name is Uzuma. And she is coming to this palace tomorrow on my invitation. What? Ndubisi, wait. You invited the maiden into the palace without my permission? My prince, because I am your personal assistant of action, and action speaks louder than words. If I continue telling you about this maiden by words of mouth, you will never take me serious. And this is why I reduce everything to action. She is going to come here tomorrow, my prince. 
and then you are going to look at her. You will observe her, and then you will take the real action hey, by making her the point, my prince. <laughs> you will like this girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I truly am. Of course you should be. You know what you have done? Going to the police in that manner? I was just curious. I wanted to see his face. And then, now that you have seen his face, what have you achieved? He has seen mine. Now I am no longer a mystery to him. He knows what I look like now. And he also knows what he will be missing. Don't be silly, Ozioma. What has come over you? This is not what I taught you. This is not the noble woman I groomed you to be. I am highly disappointed in you. Well, like I said, I am sorry. But I truthfully do not see anything wrong in what I did. Everything is wrong with what you did. It looks like you are so desperate for the prince to take notice of you. Desperate? Dauji, how can you even say that? Because that is what it seems like. Listen to me, Ozioma. I don't want what happened yesterday to happen again. Are we clear? Other maidens must continue to look up to you, no matter what. Even if you do not become the queen, you are still who you are. And who am I? You are a mystery. A child of destiny. The light that shines in our land. The choice of the ancestors. The chosen of the gods. That is who you are. Beautiful. This is about the finest good I have ever seen. Where did you get it from? Crafted by the best goldsmith of our land. <sighs> Delivered from the palace. I, I don't get that. Delivered to you from which palace? From the palace of our Mobaleri kingdom, of course. looks my way. The prince is looking your way. Are you this excited? You don't want the prince to look my way? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Are you not happy the prince looks my way? Mm -mm. Of course I am not. I am not. Yes. Because the prince has someone already groomed for him. So whatever you feel for him is to say the least foolish. Kill that thing in time before he gains ground and forces you out of circulation. And before you know it, you end up heartbroken. And if you're not careful, you end up committing suicide. Amarachi. Are you aware that I was on my own and the prince approached me? And are you ever under the illusion that you were the only one he approached? He approached so many, but no one took him serious because we know his future is already hooked to a particular lady. Forget about people. Only remember us. And forget about any useless sentiments or relevance attached to royalty. I am a free born, a free indigenous of this kingdom, and I'm free to move anytime I want. And tonight I've come to you because we have a future together. What he feels for me is different from what he has ever felt for any maiden. Mom. I know what he told me. And I can swear on my life that he has never said that on any maiden. I know what he said. <laughs> My friend is living in fool's paradise. 
<laughs> this is so unfortunate. <laughs> Amarchi, you're just being too jealous. And I don't want to talk about my private life again. Please. Of course, you know I'm not. Why would I want to be jealous? I'm only trying to advise you like a friend. You know you're a maiden of class in this town. My dear, do not stop me. My prince, her name is Uzoma. She is the beautiful maiden of our land that I told you about. She's finally here in the palace to present herself before you, my prince. Uzoma, you know already that this is the prince of our land. Now I want you to take a walk before the prince, like your queen. Convince him beyond any doubt that you are indeed the queen we are going to bring you to the palace. <laughs> the floor is yours. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't she? Can you smile for the prince? Did you see that? Can you please turn your back home? Oh. Did, did you see that, my prince? Isn't she wonderful? My prince, please say something. Uh, my dear, uh, kindly excuse us, we'll get back to you. Thank you very much, my friends. Okay. You know, I am, I am very, very certain that she is the one you're going to make your wife. She is awesome. I must admit that uh, she's beautiful. Oh, thank you, my prince. Uh, she walks with poise, with style, and, uh, you know, she would make a very good dancer. Thank you, my prince. I also admit that uh, from the look of her, she would make a very good and responsible wife. Oh. <laughs> my prince, thank you so much. I am humbled with your assessment and judgment. Yes. You know, I already told people that I have a wonderful, wise man as the prince in this palace. Yes. Thank you for accepting to marry her almost immediately. Yes, yes. I am humbled. Yes, <laughs> and, yes. and I also admit that I am willing to disappoint you. Yeah. You see that girl? She has nothing close to Ngozi of Aki. My prince. Yes? It has become very clear to me that you have tested the love portion of Ngozi of Aki. And I am going to resist her. You are going to resist her? With everything in me. You will resist her. I will not resist to tell you that what attracts you, you, Ndubisi, in a woman, is not what attracts me. Do you understand me? That is not what attracts me. And it's very obvious that I will not resist to tell you that you will not be part of my decision making with regards to having a wife. Get out of my sight! Leave here, this instance. Yes. What did he finally say? He found you irresistible. He wanted to have you out of sight before he would tell me that you are unique. <laughs> Very nice. So, um, has he accepted to make me the queen? My dear, it follows a process and we are already in the process. Okay? I want you to leave now and allow me to continue from where you stopped. But one thing that is relevant is that you have succeeded in sowing a seed inside of him. Allow me to make that seed to germinate. Okay? You are going to be the next queen of this land. That is settled and that is sure. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now that I breathe the fresh air of this palace, I want to reassure you that once I become the queen of this kingdom, I will make you very, very relevant. I will always remember that. But you have to go now, okay? I will see you later. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> She's going to make me relevant in the kingdom. 
when she has already failed the examination. How am I going to win this girl thing? How? What I told the chair was a decision I took as king. There's no need to discuss it any further. Who am I to interfere in your decision, my king? I came here to find out if you have communicated with the prince already. I did not discuss the decision with the prince because I believe he will hear what I said. How then did he hear if you did not communicate to him personally? My dear, the prince lives with me here in this palace. And we all know that the palace walls have ears. Look, he couldn't have confronted me if he didn't hear what I said. Don't let that bother you. The prince is free to make his own choice. And who knows, he may select the maiden you groomed for him. If that happens, then we all shall know that the gods don't make mistakes. And we shall lend our support. When is he going to make this selection? A lot of things are still being planned. Just leave things to unfold on their own. Undo, there used to be a festival in this town called Nkwa Mabo. It's a festival that attracts suitors and noblemen into our land. This is where princes and noblemen pick their wives from during this festival. I have never heard of this Nkwa Mabo festival before. This Nkwa Mabo festival has not been organized for over a hundred years because our former king, Ahuenyi Amaleyi, abolished it. Do you know why? Because of the kind of dance steps our maidens were unleashing. Suitors were coming from far and near to come and pick up our women. So he abolished it. So if uh, a king of this land already applauded the festival, why are we here discussing it? Because our incumbent had decided that his prince <laughs> must choose a wife from among the maidens. So I have uh, discussed with uh, the elders in council that we can organize uh, this Unkwa Mabongo for the first time after a hundred years so that our prince will have opportunity of selecting his, his, his wife. I have never experienced this festival before. In fact, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, but I am beginning to like it. I can already visualize the picture of beautiful maidens standing out, dancing in their fury, just to entertain the prince. You can say that again. I think it's going to be a wonderful experience. The prince himself will be thrilled. He will be the judge during that day. Then he will select or pick the best maiden amongst all the maidens that will come and display their dance steps. Any lucky maiden will be crowned the queen in waiting on the spot. When you're doing kind of work, if it is so good that it is happening during my time, I am excited, <laughs> very very excited. Is here. You know, I've been meaning to ask you to this. Why do you do what you do? Huh? Why? Why is it that both of you come to entertain me at the same time? Why is it that? One doesn't come today to dance and then the next comes tomorrow. Why? My prince, it is the age-long tradition of our people that the prince must never be alone with a maiden. There must be at least two maidens at a time. So what are they trying to avoid? My prince, we don't know what they are actually planning to avoid. But we know that Nanyo Chuku could be forced to recommend punishment on us if it is ever reported that we are appearing before you individually. Look, I know what they are trying to avoid. I know. They have gradually insulted every prince. They have insulted every single prince. Yes! And they see you maidens as debased people who would have no option but to seduce every prince. Yes, that's it. And they see my very self as somebody who doesn't have resistance. Somebody who cannot control himself, who has no self-control. Are you beginning to see the insult? No, are you beginning to see the insult? I am sorry. But we don't see it as an insult. Really? Yes. 
We are only following the age-long tradition of this land. There were laws made several years before our mothers were married. So, uh, I don't see why we should take this, this, this personal. Yes. That's what you think you're following? What of you? Leave, 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 leave. Go! Why do you always do this? No, seriously, why do you always do why? Why, why, why do you always do this? Now let me tell you, whatever powers you feel you have flows through me. You understand me? What's wrong with you? My prince, I already discussed extensively with Ishi and Azia. And I am now sick and tired of the marginal dance there from these maidens that keep loitering around you. This kingdom is planning something big and you are going to be the ultimate beneficiary, my prince. Do you see? You have better say something to excite me down. Uh, my prince, there is a festival. Called Unkwauma Bobo Festival in this land. I don't know if you have heard about it. Well, my grandmother told me about it. She said it's, it's one outlawed festival, and you may not presently angry about it. My prince, Ishi Anazia and other elders and council are planning to revive that festival. In fact, that festival is going to hold, and we are going to be the ultimate judge. All the maidens of this land shall gather to dance for you, and you're going to make a choice of one maiden who is going to be your wife. And the king is going to name her the coming queen of this land. <laughs> I'm telling you what is being planned. Beautiful maidens. They all will all gather. They are dancing for my prince. <laughs> and I'm the only judge. You are the judge. <laughs> that is something I can live with. That's something I will remember for the rest of my life. It's coming soon, my prince. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very nice. The impression among our people is that King Gahwenyi Amaleni abolished the Mkwao Mabogo Festival because it was attracting foreigners. That is not true. That was not the reason for the abolition of the festival. So, how do you know, Father? Was he documented? Oh, yes. He documented his reason. He said that the festival was attracting evil spirits um, and that a maiden was so engulfed in the dance that her feet were separated from the ground and she was hanging in the air. This caused pandemonium amongst the people. A lot of people were running to their homes and they got wounded. When the evil spirit left the girl, she fell to the ground and couldn't explain what happened. That was why he outlawed the festival. festival. And now the others in council want to revive this festival. What are you going to do, Father? Are you going to allow them or stop this festival immediately? You will be the ultimate judge of that. Any maiden you select, will be crowned queen in waiting immediately. Um, but I'll suggest that you go to Odomiwele, the paramount god of our land, to ask for guidance. Father, I am not going to do that, I'm sorry. Yes, I agree, I have a maiden who, who is after my heart, who I want as queen. So why would I go to Odomiwele to, to tell? No, I am just going to be the ultimate judge in a free and fair contest. That's it, Father, please. This festival is going to attract a lot of uh, attention. You will see beauty in its undiluted form. See, may be confused. Choosing the wrong queen also has its attendant problems. But going to Odumi Wele to ask for permission, for guidance, for wisdom, Odumi Wele will help you to ensure that you do not make mistakes. Father, I won't do that. I'm sorry, I will not go to Odumi Wele. Yes, I have a maiden who is after my heart, who I want to be my queen. So why would I go to tell Odumi Wele? I am going to be the ultimate judge in a free and fair contest. That's it. I am talking from my position as king. And I'm talking from my own position as the one in the center of everything. Father, please, please, let, just let me. I am going to choose the best. And when I tell you the best, I will choose the best. That's it. It's going to be free and fair. As you have refused to humble yourself before Odumiwele, let me give you another information. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Father. I, I want to clarify something here. I did not refuse to humble myself before Dumi uh, Who am I to do that? Why would I do that? Uh, all I'm saying is that I want this festival to run as an experimental event. That's it. If that is what you want, I will leave you with your choice. Thank you, Father. My Prince, what did the King say? Uh, he said I should go to Odumi Wele and announce who would become my future queen. Initially I said no, but now I'm beginning to see reasons with it. I'm sorry my prince, but I don't understand what you mean by you are beginning to see reasons with it. Uh, you know, the process of this festival could be quite confusing. Yes, you know, it's not only humans that will be in attendance. Also, evil spirits will be in attendance. So I don't want any evil spirit to pass me over an evil woman. I don't want to make a mistake in the I do not. Okay. Let us assume you are now standing before Odumi Well. Yeah. Who is that maiden you are going to name as your choice? Who else? No, who else but Ngozi of Haki? Who else? She is the only one I'm ready to settle with as my best. She's the only one. My prince, as your personal assistant, I am not ever going to allow you to bring this festival to Renekon. Do you see? My prince, this is the very first Nkumabogo festival that we shall be experiencing in the last 100 years in this kingdom. All the maidens of this land must be given equal and fair opportunity to prove themselves. There is no way I will ever allow any maiden of this land to ride on the back of Odumi Wele to assume position as the common queen of this land. All my men... You know the problem I have with you? You're never objective. How? You are never ever objective. Have I gone to Odumi Wele before making my choice? No, have I done that? Eh, but no, 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 no. Why would you say she's riding on the back of Odumi Wele? Why would you say that? Okay. If you go to Odumi Wele, you will say that Ngozika of Akiyi is the choice that yes. you have. Yes. And then during the festival, you are going to go ahead and name her the queen. Oh, yes. Even when she has not convinced anybody that she's good. Now, have you bothered to ask yourself what the people will say? I don't care about what the people say. I care about the love of my life. It's my life. Hey, but the process that is going to define that love must be love itself. What you are doing has no love. You have named Ngozik of Haki already even before the festival. That means you have not allowed the maidens of this land to prove themselves. That is no love, my prince. And there is no way I will allow that as your personal assistant. It is not possible. You are bringing this thing to ridicule. And in fact, you are not going to do it. Your personal assistant says so. No. This cannot be. How do they want to disgrace me this way? After all the training that I got, after all the time I wasted trying to be royalty, and now this. Okay, now turn back. Go ahead. You know when you're working, see, see nobody. Because everybody there is mine. You are the only queen. And that is how it's supposed to be. Because you are royalty in the making. <laughs> that is how it's supposed to be. See. Do your shine this way. See. Move. And then you look into his eyes. Because that is where your power is. Now let me see you do it. Good. <laughs> That's my pain in the making. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. You're doing it well. <laughs> Come back. Huh? <laughs> yes. Every other melon are under you. <laughs> continue. <laughs> Don't be shy. Continue. <laughs> you know, it's only the queen, only the prince that has to notice you. You don't see any other person. See every other person as minor. You are the only one. What 
did not eat your food. Why? Dauchi, I'm tired of this sauce. I want to eat any other food aside this. Other foods like what? Like, like normal food. Food that would taste nice in my mouth and in my belly. Why can't I eat what other people eat? Uzioma, because you are our coming queen. We must be mindful of what you eat. You are not allowed to grow fat. So that the prince will not feel you are not good enough. That's my point exactly. It makes me feel sick knowing that the man whom all of this is for, I don't even know him, he does not even know me. Don't worry. You will know him soon and you will love him. But why can't he accept me like the normal person that I am? Why do I have to go through all this just for me to be acceptable in this sight? Oh, see. These are the sacrifices you make to be queen. Don't give up. Yes? What is it? Why are you blocking my path? You listen to that, Uchi. You're not supposed to go anywhere. I don't understand. Am I into some kind of bondage or what? Why can't I go out? There are maidens of my age grade out there. I am going to be with them. I am going to mix up with them. I want to go out there and make friends. I want to live a little. I want to breathe. I don't know how I will say this, but you cannot go out. And who's going to stop me? You? What you? Going on here? She wanted to go out and I told her she cannot. And I demand to know why it is I cannot go out. I really don't understand this arrangement. Am I suddenly a prisoner of some sort? Why do I have to have him in front of me, in my compound, blocking me from going to where I want to go? Mika, leave us. It is clear to me that you woke up from the wrong side of your bed this morning. No, Rauji. I slept well and I woke up well. Now to the issue at hand, why can't I go out? Why? Because you are a queen in the making. Oh. You are like an eagle. You are placed in the sky where your ashes are like mystery to the lesser being. You don't have to mingle with other maidens that would date you. How long, how long exactly will this continue? It will continue until the day you'll be exposed to the prince as his wife and the queen of this land. Ozioma, we have come a long way. You cannot just stop now. You can't start feeling bad right now. Okay? <laughs> Why did I have to go through all that? Why? I denied myself everything to have him. Now I will have to file out with others for him to make a choice.
I doing this? Do you want me to, to sit down here all day? Zuma. You can do this no matter what. I am like your mother. In fact, I am your mother. Zuma. You cry? What is the problem? Go ahead and talk to me. All my life, ever since I was 10, my late mother taught me how I was supposed to live. She taught me how I was supposed to carry myself. And then she died. And you came into my life and taught me saying, You taught me how to carry myself as royalty. You said I was never to be found mingling with other maidens because I am different. You taught me to carry my shoulders high and not eat certain foods. That's right. Even the ones I loved so much. All that and more I did simply because I wanted to do this right. That is true. What has changed? What has changed? You ask me what has changed, Daoche. Look at me. Look at me. I have been rejected by the prince. Why did I even go through all this? Why did I bother? Why did the tradition have to change at my own time? All my sleepless nights, all my starvations, everything is just nothing but a total waste of time. <laughs> all that means nothing. You are still what and who you are. That the prince decided to choose a wife among the maidens. Do not change anything. I feel so worthless. <laughs> but you already made me to understand that you don't bother about the change. You will, you will make me believe that you have lost all the interest in the prince. Why this? It's okay, my dear. I always want you to understand that you are different. I want you to, to know that you are unique and different no matter what people think. <laughs> Other maidens do not have the kind of training that you have. And that stands you out, my dear. It's okay. I want you to always know that you are who you are. She's been groomed for you. Even some maidens fear and respect her because we all see her as queen. Listen, I have no problem with the respect you've accorded her. No problem at all. But seeing her as queen, oh please, please. Even before my father decided to change the way things are done, I was always dreaded with the idea of marrying somebody I'd never met or been with before. I never saw myself doing that. Now my prince is talking. So, tell me what she wants. Yeah, that shouldn't bother you. Yes, she came to meet me. But all that matters is you and I. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. And why are you surprised? Hmm. Uziyama, it's just that you've never shown interest in what the maidens do and say. Yeah. But you know the reason for that. So, that I'm interested now should not surprise you. I know, but I was really angry when I heard about the king's decision. Okay. Why is everybody going on and on about the king's decision? Really? Why won't they be angry? Why won't they say that? Was it not the king that asked Prince Ubaka to choose a wife from the maidens when he knew you were the one groomed for him? For him. I disagree. If Prince Ubaka had not shown interest in other maidens, the king would not have had to make that decision. Prince Ubaka just hides behind his father, the king, to do whatever he likes. I'm so confused. I, I don't know what to believe. It's okay. That's not even why I asked that you come. I want to know how the preparations for the dance is going. Tell me. The maidens. They are all enthusiastic about it. Yes. They, you said. Are you not one of them? Yes, I know I'm one of them. It's not like I'm not excited about it. It's just that seeing what the whole situation is doing to you, it makes me feel, it makes me have no interest. You don't have to be like that, okay? I mean, look at me. What is it doing to me? Nothing. I am fine. So feel free to join the others, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're actually learning a new dance. Okay. A new waist dance. Ah. <laughs> so you guys are gonna check it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, um. A maiden groomed for the prince has the audacity to come into the palace to confront the king. Could that be the training she got? What is she up to? Believe me, they are most excited. You see, Ngozi, she believes that the prince is hers already. Even though she can hardly move her body. But Uzoma, that one, busybody, she thinks she's the best dancer. I'm not surprised. Is she not the one I saw with the prince the night I approached the prince? Right. Ngozi, right? Yes. You saw them together? Yes. In fact, I suspect they have something in common. <laughs> My dear, don't just suspect. They have something going on. Yes, something very strong. He even gave her gold necklace. Yes. Really? Um, then she must be the one that he has settled for. Uzuma, <laughs> I really don't know that one. I don't know. But let me ask you, what do you feel about this? About what? I mean, about the prince abandoning you to... Don't. Don't do that. I already told you I am not bothered. So, she too shouldn't be bothered. Let's go. Listen, Uzuma, wait. Listen, I am your friend. I am not your child. I am a full-grown woman. I know what your feelings are. And I know you're hurt and betrayed. I know. That is the least of what I feel, really. But I'm hurting. Don't misunderstand my intentions for deciding to mingle with my fellow maidens. She don't know how much I have missed out on all the activities. So. I'm on my way to familiarizing with them yet again. Seriously? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, all the maidens will be so delighted to have you back as part of the Moonlight Play. Yes, they will. They will be very happy. Yeah. Well, I have to start from somewhere. I can't just jump it through on them. Listen, 
wherever you want to start from. I trust your wisdom. <laughs> I Besides. trust your wisdom, yes. Yes. Besides, the prince already made it clear who he wants to be with. So, it will be punishment on myself to continually hope and believe that that one day he will look my way. No. Ozjama will never be a second fiddle to any man. Good. Now you're talking like my friend. That is what it takes to be royalty, you know. <laughs> Cheryl, okay? I do not get this. You don't have to get it. Just know she poses no threat to you or anyone, okay? Why has she suddenly started coming for the moonlight play? What kind of question is that? Is she not a maiden of this kingdom? Is she not? Tell me more, Amarachi. What is she up to? I can... I can say something, but... I, can, I can't place my hands on what it is. get you. Sometimes when you speak, I, I wonder if it's this your chicken brain you intend using to become a girl. Are you mad? Why would you talk to me like that? Why wouldn't I talk to you like that? Didn't you hear yourself? Why would you ever think that Ozioma was sent to spy on or for what? And by who if I may ask you? It's okay. Just keep whatever you know to yourself. I've always known that any time I come to you for anything, it will result in insults. Are you flying off for nothing now? Wait, Biko! Maiden's moonlight play. And you, you you believe I came for the moonlight play? Am I a madman or something? I came to give you information. 
in Kwa Mabogo Festival, the first in a hundred years has been approved. Therefore, I came to ask you to stop dancing for the maidens. I want you to start in time to learn the dancing step we are going to unleash that day so that you are going to be the one they are going to select. Uncle Mabo Dancing Festival, the one that was abolished over 100 years ago. How would you say it is being organized? Listen to me, I am not just a man of this kingdom. I am a masquerade that lives in the palace with the king. I know everything they are planning. And I am telling you that all the maidens of this land are going to file out to dance for the prince during the Nkwama Boga festival that is being planned. The king has already approved that the prince is free to make a choice. The elders and council decided to organize the first Nkwama Boga festival in a hundred years. Therefore, you have to stop wasting your talent. Do not dance for all these our useless maidens in this kingdom. Start to practice for you to be the one they are going to select. The prince will select the best, and I want you to be that best. When you get back there, don't dance again. That's why I came to tell you. Thank 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 you. He said they are organizing Nkwa Umabo festival, mm -hmm. the one that was abolished over 100 years ago. Yeah. That all the maidens are expected to dance. Yeah, they dance. The prince will select the best dancer and she will finally emerge as the queen. Wow, that's is good, good news now. That means, that means you're the next queen. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you say that? Next queen? Do I know the prince any better than you do? It has nothing to do with knowing him or not knowing him. You're the best dancer among the maidens. <coughs> yeah. If the contest is free and fair, that means you're our next queen. How can you say that? Does she dance better than me? Can't you see? Yeah. You can dance. Oh, yeah, come out and dance. Are you not a better? Ndubi see we know in this land is very, very influential. For him to come for Zoma, it's significant. And why would you say that? Uzoma is simply a maiden, just like all of us. That Ndubisi has come for her means nothing. See, Chinwendu, I don't want to stand here discussing Ndubisi and Uzoma. Have you heard? Have you heard the rumors making the rounds? Why do you always talk as if you don't know me well? I don't have time for rumors. Let all men and women be informed. The festival of Umpa Umabo has been announced by the king. His Highness Prince Ubaka shall select one of the maidens during the festival, and that maiden shall become his wife and the queen of Umabare the kingdom. All families must present the best. On the third AK, after this AK market day, the festival shall hold on the square of Odum Iwere. The Nkoma Abo Festival is coming up. And it means only one thing. That I, Ujumwa, Abo Ejumwa Mao, shall be the one that must be selected. Biko, 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 Kolo Gaba, Biko, Sino Ogini. Don't underrate me. You sent for me. Did you listen to the tank cry last night? Yes, ma'am. Is that anything the matter? The festival they are trying to bring back is the second highest festival of this land. It comes only after Otandoba. Millions of this land are lost today because of the abolition of that very festival. So, in summary, you are excited that they revived the festival. Okay. My wife, excited is not the word. I am overwhelmed. That's why I called you. So go and prepare my daughter. She's going to be the leading contender in that show. Go and prepare her. Man, I am sorry. 
But my daughter will not partake in this show. She will not partake in this festival at all. I don't understand you, Ezine. It is because you are not a good dancer that makes you to not know that my daughter is the most powerful dancer in this kingdom. Please tell me how much you need to prepare my daughter. She must participate in this very festival. Please. Nay, please. They say that some of these maidens that partake in this uh, festival, that they use charms. Nay, please. I don't want anyone to destroy my daughter with charms. Now listen, Ezine. Mkwauma Aboho Festival has nothing to do with chance. It is purely dancing festival. We are prepared medians dance out their hearts to the noble men of this land. Eh? Please go and prepare my daughter. You will never know when you become royalty by marriage. I am, even... I am not excited with royalty. I want to remain a private woman. Managing my private family. That is all I want in life. Unfortunately, you are just my wife. In no more by the kingdom. Wives do not have right to make a decision for the family. I have taken my decision and it stands. So go and prepare my, 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 my daughter. She must be one of the dancing maidens that day. Please go and prepare her. Please go. Yes, sir. Every maiden in this kingdom is excited about the Kwa Umabo Dancing Festival, but you are not. What is it? Father, Odum Iwele, the god of our land, is involved in the selection and they will select the best. I don't stand a chance. Who told you that? I know myself, Father. I'm a wonderful dancer. Most of my friends are excited about the dance because they know all the techniques in dancing. I don't. I'm not that lucky. I'm not. Uh, Chinwendu, you cannot defeat yourself. That is very wrong of you. Yes, I quite agree with you. Many are born dancers. But there are some that learn how to dance and they are doing well. You can learn how to dance and you dance even better than the born dancers. Don't you think so? I appreciate your advice, Father. But even if I decide to learn how to dance today, who will teach me? Um, Aboma is a lady that lived beyond the forest of Abalide. She defied the theories of existence for three years. She was there alone, talking to no one and listening to nobody. Hey. Is this not the same Aboma? that is reported to be weird and doesn't get scared of anything or anyone. I am happy that you have, you have heard of this album. I am so happy about that. So that's the one I'm talking about. If that is one of the benefits you will drive from dancing. Takes away fear, takes away shame from you. And once you are ready to learn, I will take you to her. I'll commission her to teach you and she will teach you and you learn how to dance, if it's a transportation for people, and you will never be the same again in this life. Papa, please. Papa. Please, Papa. Let me be very sincere with you, my dear Ujumwa. You cannot cajole me with tears. That dance festival is an extension of idolatry, and my daughter cannot be part of it. But nine. I'm sorry. <laughs> But don't you think you're taking this matter too fast? You're not the only Christian family in this land. Other families are encouraging their daughters. Why are you barring my daughter from doing what others are doing? My Christianity follows a pattern. It is the pattern of what is right. The pattern of the words of God as contained in the Bible. Any dance festival that does not give glory to God is certainly giving glory to Satan. And my family cannot be part of it. You understand that? But tonight, if you're scared of the money you may be asked to spend, I am begging you to leave it to me. I will provide everything required. Just please, allow Ujuma to do what other maidens are doing. I'll be again, my millionaire. Now listen, it is not about money. 
If you need money, I will give you money. That dance festival is not a Christian festival. And my family, I mean my entire family, can never be part of it. Do you understand that? <laughs> There is no man in this kingdom that can win me in that competition, Mama. Why can't Papa allow me to do what gives me joy, Mama? It's all right, it's all right. Don't give up, oh? I will talk to you some more, eh? Papa, please! You know, Zoma, I am impressed with your commitment to training. Uh, but I believe you have room for great improvement. I know. I'm only doing the general dancing. I don't know the music they will play during the festival. Do you think it will give you an advantage if you know the music beforehand? Of course. If I know the music they will play on that day, I can comfortably tell you here that I will win the contest. Yeah, because that is done. Before the week runs out, I will find the exact music they will play during the festival and I will give you the information. But do me one favor. I want you to stop dancing with others. Why? There is some music I can't possibly dance alone. Uzoma, I am talking to you because we have a deal. Maidens of this land are wonderful creatures. They are copycats. If you control dancing with them, they are going to learn your secrets and you are going to become basic and ordinary. I know what the prince wants. He wants a maiden that can do what other maidens are not able to do. And that is what I want you to be thinking. Stop dancing with others so that they don't copy what you are doing. In the BC, some people will watch me dance and say I am not a human. And that is because of the steps they see. The steps come as the music plays. There is no way any maiden of this land can possibly copy my style. No matter how long I practice with them, no matter how long I dance with them. So, be rest assured I'm fine. Maidens of Umo Oleri cannot copy your step. You know how curious I could be when it comes to such things. Gozika, wait. Do you mean to tell me that you actually took the gold to Obalum, the goldsmith? Obalum confirmed to me that it's of the highest value. Hmm. <laughs> the prince loves me. <laughs> but what were you thinking? That prince Obaka would give you fake or cheap gold? My dear friend, I'm amazed. <sighs> you know what he said to me when he gave it to me? He said, Ngazi, you deserve such gifts because you're the best. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I just hear someone call herself the best? Please, may I know the yastic upon which that judgment was made? <laughs> as in manners, as in physical beauty, as in having the best of voices, as in being the best in dance, or being too forward and easy to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the best, right? The best, the best. Can you imagine? <sighs> this is why I hate our maidens. They love to gossip too much. What was their interest in what we were discussing? You're talking as if you didn't hear the last thing she said. What was the last thing she said? I'm not interested in whatever any fool said. Please. She said Prince Obaka has been giving gifts to other maidens too. That's a lie. 
Neka, why are you listening to such lies? That's not true. Gozi, but that was what she said now. Gozi! Do you know why I did this? Just to please you. This is not the pattern of my life. I'm trying so hard to understand you. How do you mean it's not the pattern of your life? Blatant confrontations? Unfounded accusations? I mean, these are not the characters of a maiden. Excuse me. I am not just a maiden. I am a queen. And I shall continue to sort the likes of Ungozika that want to steal what belongs to me. Your mother was a noble woman. She impacted positively in the life of others. She was never wild and adventurous. And that was why they killed her. I now know better. I cannot let them cage me. May the gods help you. I know what I am saying. I do. Fine. I know I want to be the queen of this land by all means. But all that will make no meaning if the prince already had someone. Uzoma, can't you understand this? You are not even... I, 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 okay, let me... Are you talking about his betrothed that he already rejected? Are you? Who is talking about Uzoma? I am not talking about Uzoma. She's a forgotten case. I am talking about Ungozika. The news is everywhere in the village. They are already discussing it that she's the one the prince will select. I know Ngozeka very well. But let me tell you something. The prince cannot select Ngozeka. Let me brief you. Ngozeka will own Ngozeka of Akti that is already yellow, like an abino. The prince himself is also like an abino too. Is it because you are not saying it? There is no way two of them can be married. Because they will give abinos as children. We can't allow that. There is no way the prince will select the Not cannot. when he gives her gifts of gold. Ndubisi, you know what that implies. Ndubisi, people who know the value of gold were not born with the knowledge of it. They start to know its value when they start handling it. Now, this maiden, after I must have given her the gift, will know the value of gold. Thank you. What did you say? The prince gave her gold? She's all over the village, posing about it. Making noise like the prince is already married to her. Uh, so it has been Ngozi Kovaki after all? Uh, yes. Uh, so you know about it? No. Uh, what I know is that uh, the prince gave someone gold. But, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. So you know about it? Hey! Uzoma, I will see you later. Why do I have this feeling that even in Dubisi is not to be trusted? And forget about any useless sentiments or relevance attached to royalty. I am a freeborn, a free indigenous of this kingdom, and I'm free to move anytime I want. And tonight I've come to you because we have a future together. Can't you open up to me? You spent the better part of the night crying. You look weak and destroyed. Gossi, what is the problem? All the promises he made to me will amount to nothing if they proceed with this plan of getting a wife through dancing. Oh. Why would you even say that? Do you think somebody is going to scheme you out or what? There are too many things I do perfectly well. 
dancing isn't one of them. I have dreamt of a future with the prince. I, I can't even imagine myself living without him. Oh God, I can't, I can't even imagine. I, just... Don't you think you're giving up so easily? I... I have decided to learn how to dance. But I haven't seen someone who would teach me. I... I really don't know what to do, in all honesty. I don't. Ngozi. You dance better than most maidens in this village that still believe they could make an impact on that day. Neka. We're not talking about making an impact. I'm talking about winning the prince. Only one winner is going to emerge that day. And she would be crowned the queen on the spot. I want to be that maiden. I want to be the maiden. You're going insane, truly. You're going insane, yes. Which I'm still waiting for an answer. Tell me what you want me to pay you to groom my daughter for me. My daughter is the one I want to be selected after the festival. Are you aware that I'm the one that is in charge of the maiden? That was betrayed to the prince? Of course I know. That is why I'm here. I had wanted to travel to Mudora to meet Aboma. But I said no, it's not necessary. Let me come here. And tell me what you want me to pay you. So that by tomorrow I will bring my daughter to you. I want you to train her. Teach her all the secrets of seduction. Sincerely, I cannot do what you're asking me to do. Why? Uche, I have not come to you to do this job free. I am willing to pay you. Name your price. Some people do not put their two hands in their mouth at the same time. It is one after the other. Um, I cannot say that I understand the relevance of this adage to the matter under discussion. Except to train my daughter, teach her the secrets of seduction, I will pay you handsomely. What's your mic is here? He's still under my tutelage. And I'm still highly committed to her services. I must tell you, it is not yet over until it is over. Uche, if I were you, I would name my price. And concentrate on new people. The prince is no longer interested in your student. That is why he approved this festival. Accept to teach my daughter the secrets of seduction, and he will not have any reason to look somewhere else. Ozioma remains the most brilliant maiden I have ever encountered. When you look into her face, you will see a lady with a future. She knows she has a future, and she has already told me that she will marry the best. I have decided to keep training her until she finds her best. Take your daughter to Abomma. She knows the act of sedation more than me. I can see that you don't want to play double standard. Well, it's a plus to you. I'm impressed. I'm sorry, Ndubisi, I don't understand you at all. My prince, you are the ultimate judge in this coming festival. There is nothing doubt at all. I agree completely. But I want you to understand that I am your personal assistant. And I am part and parcel of this festival. We cannot afford to make mistakes. Did you see who says we are making mistakes? My prince. Yes? I want us to make a decision now on the exact kind of music we shall be playing on the day. And why? Because it is important for us to make that decision. In fact, I want us to use for the music. During the festival. One more question, Father. Um, 
during this festival, what kind of music will the medias dance to? They dance to a normal Ibuakunichenye. During the festival, humans do not dictate to the band the kind of music they play for the maidens. They play as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The maidens dance as they are led by the spirit of the dance. And spectators watch as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The truth is that though the festival is a physical thing, it is a spiritual competition. Go ahead and choose the best maiden dancer as wife. But do not double into the music that the band plays. Ndubisi, can you give me one reason? One reason. One reason, Ndubisi, we should change the music we are used to. Give me one reason. My prince, the reason is very simple. Because I want the kind of music that we'll be playing that day that will make it easy for you to select the best. And the foreign music I am talking about that I want to bring from Monicha is the music that comes to mind. Let me see. I want this competition to be different, okay? I want this particular competition to be, you know, shrouded in mystery. Yes. What do you mean by shrouded in mystery? We might not even use Igba Akunichengi that day. Thank you very much. Yes. That means I cannot go to a shadow and bring the music I am to I'm be before you continue making your assumptions. Let me repeat the words of my father, the king. Humans do not dictate to the band what they should play for the maidens. They play as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The maidens dance as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The spectators watch as they are led by the spirit of the dance. Though this festival is a physical thing, it is spiritual. So if you understand what I am saying in Dubisi, you will not contest whatever music we use or what ways the, the maidens will dance. My priest, I am not contesting what you are talking about now, but you are trying to make this thing become very spiritual. My priest, are you going to marry a spirit? You are going to marry a physical human being. It is a physical event you are talking about your wife, not a spirit. I want us to go to a Nishado and bring this refined music. Because you told me before that you want to marry a refined wife. That is why this music is important, my friends. Any maiden of this land that can dance refined music is a refined woman. That is why we have to go to a Nishado, my friends. Please. Forget Ibu the is very local for this event. They should not be considered at all. Any other music, this is what your personal assistant is saying, and you should be able to consider it. Have you looked into the eyes of the prince? I wonder why you want me to look into his eyes. He is a prince, and we must be careful how we look at him. See, what I can get from that is that you allow the nature of our job to prevent you from seeing what is obvious. I don't get it. What is obvious? Like what? The prince is lusting after us. Oh, please. Don't be ridiculous. How could you say a thing like that? Lusting after us. For what? Do you know you amaze me? Yes. You amaze me when you consistently talk like a child. The prince is lost in after us and something tells me he can keep a secret. What are you planning? See, you know the prince is very shy to take two of us together. That is why he gave the option of, of taking one maiden today and the other one tomorrow. What are you implying? Are you going to seduce the prince? Are you out of your mind? Do you want them to label you a strange woman in this kingdom? How could you say a thing like that? See, I've grown enough not to bother about what anybody says about me. I do what I like. The prince has expressed his lust already. We can beat the maidens and reduce the contest to Two of us. After all, I won't be disappointed if he gets married to you. And I know you will not be disappointed if he gets married to me. Do you know the repercussion of seducing the Prince of Omo Kingdom? Hmm. 
say all restrictions we are made so that maidens will be hopeless and i will not allow myself to be hopeless i will not you sure sound as if you have already perfected your plan to seduce the prince hmm. i looked into the eyes of the prince and i can see that he cannot resist the maidens we may even decide to show him new pictures. Yes. Have you ever bothered to ask yourself what will happen if the effort got resisted? And Madame Ojugo hears that efforts we are made to seduce the prince? I will not want us to consider the possibility of failures because I've never failed before. The only resistance is into busy. And I can tell you right away that any woman can seduce him. Just any woman. Think about it. I know I will not be disappointed if he marries you. And you will not be disappointed if he marries me too. Hmm? I came here to extract just to one promise from you. If for any reason the prince decides to come back to you, will you accept him as your husband? I don't know if I will accept the prince back or not. But if I'm faced with such a situation, I'll do as my spirit directs. Tomorrow, we are going back to full training. A dancing festival has been fixed. And the prince himself is going to be the decision maker. Is going to choose the best dancer among the maidens, and that maiden will be crowned the queen. Promise me you'll be available tomorrow for the training. <laughs> Dauche, why do you still bother yourself on account of the prince? I already told you that I had a dream where I got married to the best. And I know it will happen someday. In my dream, Prince Obaka of Umo Baleri Kingdom was certainly not the ever smiling, wonderful man I saw. No. The line between dream and reality is too tiny that most times people do not know the end of one and the beginning of the other. Do not allow that dream to bother you. Don't allow that dream to confuse you. Because it could mean nothing. Tomorrow, we are going back to dream. <laughs> Neka, Neka, leave me alone. What Just is wrong with me? Eh? What? Why are you always speaking on her? What is your problem? Come. Why has she decided to start associating herself with us? Why? I thought she was an egg waiting to hatch. What problem? You watch your mouth. It would do you a world of good. I shall sure will, my queen. Ngozi, Ngozi, if you would take my advice. Leave that girl alone. Leave her alone. No. Hi. Do her a favor and tell her to stay far away from me. Far, far away from me. Her moment of glory is over. 
and it's high time she started realizing that. I'm not angry. I mean, why do I have to be angry over somebody who is obviously insecure? Really, I, I don't understand it. Why isn't Gozi like that? The question should be, why does she feel extremely insecure whenever she sees me? <laughs> it's obvious. It's obvious because you carry yourself well. Yes, and people respect you for that. I think that's why she's jealous. Yes. <laughs> Always. And it's beginning to get on my nerves. Picking on you? For how long have you been going to the moonlight play? Since you told me about the change in plans. No! Why would you? And why wouldn't I? I missed out on a lot during all the time I wasted grooming myself for the prince. Now that you've gone, have you seen the outcome? Have you? They think they're better than me. They think I am a loser. They think having been apart from them makes me less qualified than they are. And you know all that are not true. You don't have to let what they think change the truth you already know. If going to play with them makes you doubt that, then stop. Never. I will never be such a coward. Never. If you ask me, it's not an act of cowardice. You have to prove to them that you are better than this. You have to prove to them that you did not spend all these years training for nothing. You are better than that. So, what am I supposed to be doing with myself now? To sit at home all day and all night? Don't worry. I will figure out how to keep you busy. But listen to me, Uzioma. Through you, we are trained to be the prince's wife. But you must understand that that training is supposed to guide you for life. Queen or no queen, do not let anything take away your values from you, okay? Why would you do that, Ngozi? Why? I mean, you should live by example. Why? My prince, she carries herself like she's better off than every other person. Even with that? Even with that, Ngozi? Besides, my informant told me that she didn't do anything to warrant such insults. That Ozioma did nothing to warrant such side comments from you. I'm sorry, my prince. Come on, you should live by example. You should live by example. And people should be able to say good things about the queen and not the other way around. You don't know how I feel when you call me your future queen. But that is what you are. You should comport yourself as such. I promise. What are you still doing here? Are you not going? They decided to start the festival without informing me, Ukulu. I smile. They've not even deemed it necessary to approach me as one of their judges. I'm looking at them. But I will attend. I and my men, we shall attend the festival. We shall attend as unofficial judges. And whoever we didn't pass will never pass the examination. Listen to me, Okolo. There are lots of things waiting for me to do. I will leave you and get busy. If you don't have anything tangible to say to me. Boma, are you saying this to get me angry? Are you saying this to make me look ordinary? Look, everybody in this kingdom avoids and fear you. Because they say you are evil. I am the only one who comes to you. Oh, I think I still remain the only one who has summoned the courage to, to play with you as a woman. Why are you asking me to leave? I have seen it already. Tomorrow is going to be very hectic. Hmm? So, I will leave you. I want you to go. So I can go and rest. Mama, something tells me there is a man inside waiting for me to leave. Don't you insult me. Mama, my dear. I've not insulted you. But that idiot inside, he must leave or both of us will remain here and continue discussing until dawn. Do you think I have your time? Eokolo, if you don't want to leave, remain here. The simple truth is that I don't have time for your drama. I 
worked really hard today. And I need to rest my bones now. Mama, you want to rest your bones? Beautiful. We'll go in together and rest our bones together. Ukoli, let me make something clear to you. You will never ever sleep on my bed again. Abuma, why? Ukoli, I am now a new woman. I am getting older. So I am doing everything possible to redefine my life. I know you must have enjoyed it while it lasted. It is over. Uma, the more you open this your mouth, the more it shows to me there's actually an idiot waiting for you. I will leave as you've instructed. But before I leave, I want to go in there and see the idiot myself. I want to greet him and have a handshake with him. Why are you talking endlessly like someone who doesn't have a brain? Okolo, there is nobody in this house! Then let me go in there and see for myself. I will never believe you until I see for myself. They will not catch you. Aren't you going to be sleeping by now? I need to be sure she's snoring. The prince will not say anything because he'll be happy to see that we are ready to give him what he wants. Oh, okay. Look. What's going on here? I was in a dream, eh? where, where, where I saw a, 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 a cobra about to strike the prince. It was an old cobra and a bite from that kind of cobra could lead to his death. So, so we ran up here to check if the, if the prince is, is okay. Yes, she's right. Am she's I not right. saying this? Yes, she's saying it. You saw a cobra? Yes, big one. About to kill the prince? And you came to kill the cobra. Where is the stick? Where is the cutlass with which you came to kill the cobra? You came to kill cobra with loose wrapper tied around your chest, and you are telling me you are not up to something. How am I sure there is something you are wearing down there? No, how am I sure? You see, we don't know what you are talking about. All we are here for is for you to confirm to us if the prince is okay. If he's okay, let's just go back to our room. Okay. Let's go inside. Come. Put up your phone. Since you're not bothered about the prince, that means the prince is okay. Yes. We will see you tomorrow, okay? Hey. What are they up to? Very last time I will listen to you in this palace. Okay, fine. Let me tell you something. If I finally get the prince to be mine, don't be jealous. Of I don't know why I listened to you in the first place. Azuka, what are you up to? And why don't you want to believe in the dream? Do you know what? Do me a favor. Stand here and wait for me. There is something important I want to show you. Don't go anywhere. Out of my banana. Tell me back. I want you to swear on this offer that you saw a cobra. In fact, I wanted to swear that you had a dream. Swear. Please, I want to go ask. 
You don't want to swear. You want to go back to sleep. What are these girls up to in this palace this time? What is the meaning of this? Hey! This was the offer he asked me to swear on last night. What is he doing here? You mean you have already seen this sham with someone already? Who is the person? She had a dream last night where an old cobra wanted to kill the prince. And you rushed to see if the prince was okay. I want you to swear on this offer that you weren't lying when you said that. See, I don't get it. Apart from Uzon Neher, who slept with me last night, you are the first person I'm seeing today. So what do you mean by I, I should swear? <laughs> Can you tell me the reason behind that deadly move you made last night? I've already told you what happened and why we went there. Now, if this is not acceptable to you, then you can believe whatever you want to. Now listen to me, let me tell you something. I am an authority in this palace. And once I decide to unmask anything, definitely I must unmask that. People who elect to hide things from me are wasting their time. Because you can never hide anything from me. There was a deadly movement in this palace last night. And let me tell you to the face, I am going to get to it. Hey, 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 don't go and tell Prince things because nothing happened. <laughs> 